Humans as we know them have been walking around for about 200,000 years. Yet despite having bigger brains and finer hands, we continue to behave as our predecessors had. This was a nomadic lifestyle, following herds, gathering wild plants and fruits along the way. Then about 10,000 years ago, we came to a divide. On this side, we had the nomadic hunter-gatherer lifestyle we'd always known. On the far side, we had settled agriculture. The differences between these two are simple, but, as we shall see, they have lasting implications. As a nomad, you must find your food. Since you must find your food, you must move before your food sources are depleted or before your food wanders off. Since you must be able to move, you can only store as much food as you can carry. Storage is particularly difficult because as a nomad you eat mostly meat, which has a high nutritional value but is difficult to preserve and store. Now let's look at the other side of the divide. As a farmer, you make your own food. In fact, you can produce more food than you can eat. This is called a surplus. Since growing crops takes time, you must stay put to care for your plants. Since you're not going anywhere anyway, you have the option of storing lots of food. And storage is made easy because as a farmer, you eat very little meat, but a lot of grains, which have a low nutritional value, but are very easy to preserve and store. So when droughts hit, and the hunting is bad, nomads must move along or starve to death, while farmers can survive off the surpluses they stored. Yet there are other effects of agriculture besides mere survival. The most obvious is that when you have more food, you can make more people. And because one farmer can feed several people, this makes possible the division of labor. Now, instead of every man being a 